All right, so welcome back, y'all. So, uh, a little different here tonight. It's good and dark here, as you guys can see. I got the boat fishing boat behind me. So I just made it to the lake here, and uh, we're going to dump this boat in the water here, and we're going to go shoot some buffalo tonight. So stick around, and uh, I think y'all will enjoy this one. All right, guys, there we go. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see that fish or not because the water is pretty muddy. That's a good 10 pound buffalo. That's exactly what we want. It's perfect. Pretty muddy water. But we're not coming out here. I'm not coming out here tonight to try to fill the barrel. Tonight I just want bait. So even if I get, you know, if I get 10 or 15 of those, then then we're pretty good. Pretty good set for bait. But uh yep. Off to start here. Stone that fish, guys. It's a good, it's a good buffalo for bait. That's right exactly what I want. Nice small mouth buffalo. That'll make a nice slab for, uh, for bait. Throw him in the barrel and keep going. A few more of them and then we'll be, we'll be good to go. Another little guy. There we go. Oh, definitely no big fish tonight. They're running very small. But these are perfect for what I'm going to do for them. Make bait out of them. The big ones you got to chop a bunch of meat off of them anyway. That's another good one for bait. Uh, have the bait that we need. A little one right there. That's a better one. Take that one instead. He was the bigger of the two. Another nice one. There we go. Another nice one, an angry one. That's a good one, guys. That's there, huh? That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good bait fish there. There I go. Now I got a good pile in there now. Um, one or two more and I will have more than enough bait for the weekend. All right guys. So there we go. Another nice one. That's gonna about do it 
for uh, me out here tonight. That makes 15 right there. So uh, nice fish there. That's 15 in the barrel. And that's all I need. You know, it's at least 30 or 40 pieces of bait, depending on how I cut it. And uh, that's good for the weekend. So like I said, um, I got to work tomorrow anyway, so I ain't trying to stay out here all night and fill that barrel. But uh, that's that's a good little bunch of bait there. So I still got to go home and cut it up. So get off this water here and uh, we'll see you guys back at the house there and I'll show you how how I prep this stuff for for bait so anyway fun little evening here didn't take too awful long I was only out here I don't even know how long or what yeah so about a little over an hour about an hour since I got to the boat ramp so shot 15 the water's super muddy but uh had a good time anyway All right, y'all. So there's a pile of fish there. I want to show you how I how I dress these up here. You can see I've got about half of them done already here. So I shot 15 tonight, and what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to get bait for all weekend out of these. Uh, you know, you can freeze them, or like I do here, I'm just going to go you know once a week and I'll have bait. So let me show you how I'm going to go ahead and clean these up for bait. Now you can also eat these. Uh, they're great actually to eat. And if you want to check out a video I made on a catch clean cook on buffalo, I'll leave that in the description below where I use the ribs. But what we're going to concentrate on here for the bait part is what would be the back strap. Uh, you end up with some nice pieces of bait like this, which is just perfect, perfect blue cat bait, right? Nice big hunk of bait. You hang out on a hook and it sits there and flutters in the, in the current. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take just this cheap scaling tool. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull them big scales off. This is kind of the average fish that I shot uh, tonight, like a four or five pound range. There's a couple in there that's eight or ten. But, uh, you know, these are perfect for bait because they're not so big. You get the real big ones, you got to spend a lot of time cutting them up into pieces. These here, you pull the back strap off and they're pretty much ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that scaling tool and I'm going to run it all the way up what would be the back strap. And just take them scales off. We don't want them on the hook anyway. They're huge scales and they're a pain to cut through. All right, so next time I take, I'm just using a heavy duty electric flay knife here because I want to rip through these and get done. I got to work tomorrow. Uh, and I'm going to take and cut a line right on where top the ribs start, and just down towards the tail. So you can see that, see that line I cut, right? Now these ribs are huge. And there's hair bones in here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that knife and I'm going to start in that cut and actually just push straight out towards the top of the backbone. Just roll that knife right out. And you can see see it just rolls that fillet right off that backbone. And you end up with just what looks like a real nice fillet. It's just full of hair bones. So then what I can do is I'll take and I'll cut that in half. You know, and that's a nice hand sized piece. We can half that again, split it again however we want, but that's a good chunk of blue cat bait. The skin on these buffalo is like leather, and that's why they make such good bait, because in that heavy river current, if you run your hook right through the meat side and pop it out on the leather side, once that barb uh, pokes through, it just damn near can't come back out. Uh, so it just makes really, really good bait. So you can see here, I've got two pieces, uh, two big pieces. So that's four pieces off of each fish. And like I said, I shot 15 tonight, so I've got plenty of bait for the weekend. Uh, I'll do this, do this other side for you here quick. You can see, just make that cut. And then just roll that knife right off the backbone there. And now you've got a scaleless piece of, uh, of bait. Like I said, I'll just half that again, half it again. And there we go. You've really pretty much filleted the fish. So anyway, that's the way I'll do that. Um, now, if I was to keep these long term, I would go ahead and I would take this pile here and I would just vacuum seal it and freeze it. 
Now, this is Thursday and I'm gonna go to the Big River on, on Saturday, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in Ziploc bags and they'll stay nice and fresh for the weekend. But uh, you know, you can definitely just go ahead and vacuum seal it. I wouldn't even rinse them off. You know, keep all of that, all that slime, all that juice in with them and uh, you know, just make some really, really good bait. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and rip through this last half of these fish here and uh, and I'm gonna get myself to bed. But anyway, that's that's how I do this uh, for bait. Like I said, I can keep fresh bait. I just go to the lake, you know, a couple days before I go, and uh, you know, I'm cycling through. I've always got nice fresh bait in the summertime. So, like I said, that is a nice, nice piece of bait there. All right guys, so here's here's one of the bigger fish here. This is probably in that 10 to 12 pound range, this fish here. And like I said, I almost prefer the smaller fish whenever I do this, and I'll show you why. So I've got him scaled up here. And we'll make the same cut. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold just a little bit higher and not take near as much meat because what happens is if you pull all that meat off you end up with a, a chunk that's like that thick and then you got to fillet it out because like I said I'm wanting to, to save this skin side more than anything so uh, you know I just held my knife just a little bit higher kind of kept it you can see I've kept it right about the same thickness as those but then we have to go do a little bit more cutting so we're gonna end up getting getting three pieces out of this fish rather than two but uh, like I said you know you can see the scales they're a little tougher to scale the scales are about twice as big um, you got to just do that little bit of extra work to them so I mean like I said it the the big ones are fun to shoot but uh you know as far as the fish go is what I'm using this instance for bait rather than eating uh, I almost prefer the smaller fish. Now, this is this is about the size that I like to start eating them, this 10, 12, 14 pound range, because that's whenever the ribs start getting real good. Uh, the rib bones actually get big enough, you know, where you can split them in two, and it makes it, you know, for a real nice eating fish. Just kind of depends on what you're doing with the fish. Like I said, you can see right now, I'm just gonna hold my knife just a little bit higher than I have been on the smaller ones. And just leave just a little bit more meat on the carcass and still end up with a nice big chunk of meat so anyway uh, this one here I'm actually gonna take the ribs off of and eat so uh, it, it's plenty big but just little differences in fish depending on what you're doing with them guys all right guys so anyway I hope you enjoyed that video uh, it was a fun little night bow fishing definitely uh, you know didn't didn't go out with the intentions of filling the barrel up uh, you know I went out for bait and I've got probably two and a half gallons uh, stuffed gallon bags full of bait and that'll make up a lot of baits for this weekend so you know get out there um, you know in those river situations I really like a bait that holds holds good you know uh, shad sometimes you know they're soft they get mushy they don't hold as well uh, you know the heavy heavy currents but this buffalo here has been proven you know over the years for me as a, as a good tried and true bait uh, and it's it's fun to get so Anyway, if you guys would like to see some more bow fishing videos, definitely leave me a comment below and let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll do it because we bow fish all summer long. Uh, enjoy doing it and 
kind of interesting trying to film it for you guys too. That's a whole nother, whole nother deal trying to do this at night. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment. I always love reading the comments. And until next time, guys, I appreciate the view, and we'll see you all next time.